Hey, what's up guys? Shad back with you. I just wanted to make a video on um, meal plans for weight loss. Now, um, I have personally lost 75 pounds, still losing, and probably for me the hardest thing was figuring out what to eat. For, coming from a family where we didn't have a lot of money and uh, nobody really cooked, the hardest thing was finding out what I needed to cook. I like, like what meal plans. I thought, God, am I going to have to eat just nothing but lettuce every day and to lose weight? Or what's my life going to be like now? I mean, these are, these are not really diets. These are lifestyle changes. So I just wanted to make a quick video, or not a quick one. We'll see how quick it is, um, about the foods that I eat every day. So for this is for people that have no clue and they're just starting out. Um, a little bit of advice on what you can eat to change your change your diet. So here's here's I'm gonna go through some things. This is what I eat every day, pretty much. Okay, for breakfast, I have a serving of uh, instant oats, which I do believe is around. Uh, hold on, sorry, I had to get the sugar. So my breakfast consists of instant oats, a serving, which is a half cup, um, about about a half a tablespoon of butter. It's not a full serving. It's about a half a tablespoon. Two sugars. Um, and I use stevia in the raw. Um, I think that's the best for you. And then three turkey links of sausage. Um, what I personally do is I like to warm up the oatmeal, chop up the sausage, put the sausage in the oatmeal. I think it tastes awesome. Um, the other thing is you're just going to have to try to find foods that you can eat every day. Um, especially if you're trying to lose weight. You're going to get tired of a lot of foods. For lunch, I got one of these smaller plates. It's not, you know, real big. It's one of the smaller ones you can buy at the store. Um, and I'm going to load that up with uh, a spring mix type of uh, uh, salad. And I'm going to load the whole plate up, you know, pr pretty full. And then I'm going to use, this is like just a regular can of chicken. And I might use uh, a half of this can. And then I use um, a yogurt ranch dressing, which is really, really good. It's, I think it's only like 45 calories for two tablespoons. Okay. So that's going to be my, now if I get hungry in between these two, if it's that big of a difference, I might, I might have a fiber one bar and an apple, maybe something like that for, for a snack in between breakfast and lunch. If I get really hungry now between lunch and dinner, I might do some one serving of almonds and then a low fat string cheese. Okay. And then for dinner, this is probably the hardest for everyone. A lot of people can get through breakfast and lunch. Dinner, we have started doing just grilled chicken bags, right? You just warm this up. That's all you got to do. We add some peas to it sometimes. And then there's these new things called street kitchen. Oh, man, they're awesome. And you can get all kinds of stuff. They have like Jamaican jerk chicken, this chicken tikka masala, butter chicken. I mean, you name it, they have it. So you just add this to these two ingredients. And... What you're gonna do here, and then we just found these two. I'm, I'm so excited we found these. Uh, I uh, Rice cauliflower, we had some of this the other day and it had sweet potatoes in it. So um, what we're gonna do with that, we're gonna bring it back to this plate and literally half of it is gonna be that chicken tikka masala stuff and the other half is gonna be your bird's eye vegetable cauliflower um, or whatever you wanna do. Uh, you kinda wanna stay from high carb high calorie vegetables and stuff so that's why we go with cauliflower broccoli uh things like that and i might eat maybe two two to three servings of this um each each dinner and then later on if i get hungry around you know seven eight o'clock i'm gonna go back and i might have a yogurt and maybe another cheese stick or maybe even uh, i would need another fiber on one bar i probably would but <laughs> i would try to go yogurt and then maybe a few more almonds if i get hungry let me pause this real quick Another really great snack in between, uh, like just right before, after dinner, um, is an animal whey protein. The chocolate's pretty good. I found the cookies and cream to be a lot better. And I just do one serving of that just to keep you, keep you full. Okay, the biggest key here, guys, is to not eat after, I try my best not to eat after 8 p.m., okay? Even if you're hungry, your stomach's growling, I don't care. Don't, don't take little bites here and there. Don't do that. Here's going to be the hardest part for you guys, okay? You have to drink water. Hold on, I gotta get my water. I'm not prepared for all this. Water, 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 right here. This, I drink four of these a day. I try to, uh, minimum. 24 ounces, four times a day. 
Um, that's going to be your hardest thing, believe it or not, like just drinking a lot of water. Um, every once in a while, maybe, I wouldn't seem to say every day, once every other day or so, I might have a diet soda with my dinner just to, you know, cleanse my palate and stuff. So I just wanted to make this video for people who are starting out and have no clue on what they should be eating or how much they should be eating or what kind of foods they should be eating. Is this the best you can actually eat? Is this the cleanest you can eat? Absolutely not. And this is all processed food, man. This is processed. That's processed. But if you want to talk about just something simple and something easy that you can make in less than five minutes each meal, this is what you're going to be starting with. You're going to learn a lot as you continue to diet, as you can continue to um, move forward in your meal plans and how, how clean you want to eat. But if you want to just start losing weight right now, this is what you're going to be eating every day. You're going to be eating between four and five meals. They're going to be smaller servings than what you're used to. I mean, this breakfast alone, you're looking at about 300 calories. This lunch right here, about three to 400 calories. This dinner right here, between five and 600. These snacks are going to be about 250 or so a piece. So your, your calorie intake should be under 2,000. Um, and then, like I said, you can fluctuate that on if, if you want to eat a little more calories or a little less calories. But for my size, I'm six foot two, uh, currently 250 pounds. They saying anything and well, I work out, which you don't have to do. A lot of people say you need to work out, but it's 80% food and 20% physical. So um, try to keep, if you're not working out at all and you're a male about my size, two in the 300s even and six foot two, try to keep your calories under about 2,000 a day. Um, if you're a female and you don't work out, uh, you want to try to keep and you want to lose two pounds a day or, or two pounds a week. Sorry, not a day, two pounds a week. Um, you're going to be looking at about 900 to 1,000 calories uh, per day. Um, but like I said, the biggest thing is just reading the calorie intake, use per servings. Um, you're going to be eating smaller meals and just a little more often. Okay. So if you have any questions at all, please comment. Um, it's a very long process. It's no magic pill to do this. Okay, you can't just swallow a pill and all of a sudden you're skinny. You have to start eating a little bit better and a little bit right. Is like I said, is this the cleanest you can eat? Absolutely not. But you will lose weight if you eat this way. Okay, I promise you. Uh, leave a comment and I will get back to you with any questions. All right, thanks, man. Shout out.